Hey there, so guess what? Hate speech is a subcategory of free speech. Money. Money makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. Money makes the world go around, it makes the world go round. A mark in a buck. In this video, I will address two issues in connection with the user Zomgitis. Hey there, so guess what? Along with the very positive reactions to my last video, there have also been some inevitable negative responses and I feel obliged to make a video because almost all of them have one thing in common. They accuse me of hating on Christians. I don't hate religious people. Why am I so vocal against religion? I don't hate religious people. So what is my beef with all you Christians today? I'm fucking sick of you. All you Christians know how to do is ask and pray and ask and pray, you drive me fucking nuts. In fact, I don't even hate religion as being the belief in a God. And humiliate you even more. Because I'm the only one in the Trinity who got laid. I banged Virgin Mary, yo. Hey Joseph, I fucked your girlfriend first. How taste my Really now, if I was human, I would think that the creator of this world must be pretty fucking stupid for a God. And since we are on this subject, you know those 12 minions of Jesus? The apostles? Those dudes were so totally gay. Now, another thing that pisses me off about you Christians is that you keep on quoting the Bible out of context. Love thy neighbor? What the fuck is that shit? So, what do you think you have solved with such an attitude? Do you enjoy? Hurting people? Is this what you like? Just as there are people who promote hatred and discrimination on race or gender, you promote discrimination on religious criteria. So you're not different. Between two things, love and hate, you promote hate. Holy Spirit, peace the fuck out. So, you say that you are Chuck, only fundamentalist? No, guess what? You are a fundamentalist too. This religion is much more than that. It can dictate how you think and act. It shapes your basic perception of reality. Let's say that you are eating some invisible food every day. You think the food is real and that it nourishes you. In fact, you can even feel how it satisfies your hunger. Because this is the kind of power the mind has over the body when strong beliefs are involved. You are perfectly happy with your invisible food, but the thing is, in reality, you are not okay at all. And this is not the only problem, because you are also feeding this invisible food to your children, and you are actively trying to convince everybody around you that the invisible food is the best food in the world. In fact, the only food that should be ever eaten. In fact, you are the one who is trying to convince everybody around you that your food is better. So, Zomgitis, you want to take my food away from me. In fact, you are obsessed with this idea. I imagine that you cannot sleep at night just thinking how to steal my food. But I have one question for you. So you want to take something away from me, you are obsessed with this idea, but what do you have to offer in exchange? Life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, ring the fucking bell? I don't make those videos because I hate. Zomjit's position on this issue is that she's not against religion, she's not against believers, she only hate fundamentalists. So what these people ever did to you, Christina? Sister Jamila lights her candle. She whispers a prayer passed down to her through over 40 generations of her family. The rising smoke carries her prayer high into the heavens. <laughs> So 
So what is your problem with these people? Now the second part. Here I'm going to turn the page and expose the user Zomjitis. Some time ago, during some talkings with Zomjitis, she repeated in many occasions that she is not on YouTube present to make money nor to become a partner because she do not agree with the policy promoted by Google and YouTube and she will never ask for money on YouTube or to become a partner. Several weeks ago, in a conference on Brock TV, she said that she is thinking to become a partner because she is poor and she only waits to exceed 40,000 subscribers. I suppose she changed her mind, you know, like uh, Madonna. Since that day, the number of people subscribed on her magically increased daily. moment she posted on her YouTube page a message in which she begs for money. It is a indigest and a lack of correctitude against other users which are asking for nothing. I was convinced that a normal, honest atheist would not do videos containing so much vulgarity and so much arrogance and so much narrow-mindedness, but she is not an honest atheist, she is simply not an honest person. I wonder what her atheist friends would say about this. I mean, we all know how tough Thunderfoot was with uh, how the world works money-grubbing subscriber whores like how the world works to money-grubbing subscriber whores like how the world works to money-grubbing subscriber whores like how the world works or DPR Jones with Venon Fang X a statement which is utterly inconsistent with the annotation added to your video all of those three matters which I have identified could in my view be considered to be active deceptions if you were facing a charge of obtaining by deception. My next concern is that you haven't given sufficient thought to your tax position, so I include here the contact details of the Canadian Revenue Agency. It seems like she's preparing this for a very long time. Obviously. Before I say anything else, I want to say happy birthday to David. I wish I could have bought you something cool and sent you some kind of present, but I'm poor. It I wish I could have bought you something cool and sent you some kind of present, but I'm poor. I wish I could have bought you something cool and sent you some kind of present, but I'm poor. I wish I could have bought you something cool and sent you some kind of present, but I'm poor. So how poor is she? I mean, she's living in a beautiful mansion. She has a computer. She has internet. She has a professional video camera. How poor is she? could, in my view, be considered to be active deceptions if you were facing a charge of obtaining by deception. If you were facing a charge of obtaining by deception. Zomjitis, begging for money in our country, it is an illegal activity. My next concern is that you haven't given sufficient thought to your tax position, so I include here the contact details of the Romanian Revenue Agency. Zomjitis has thus made a written agreement with her subscriber base where she is claiming that she is poor and she is begging for money.
There are people on YouTube, including atheists, who were trying to raise money for sick kids, for poor kids. But if you are a ZomGT subscriber, forget about the poor kids, about the hungry kids. ZomGT needs more money to eat more pizza. Money, money, money. Zomjitis, I also want to remind you that in the country where you live, to incite to religious hate is a crime. Oh.